All right, in this video, we are going to take a Talos node and install some extensions on it, some system extensions and configure them. And for this example, I'm gonna show you how to get Tailscale running on a Talos node because Tailscale sits below Kubernetes. There is a Tailscale service uh, and extensions that allow you to run it inside of Kubernetes as a workload, which then allows you to connect to things like services and whatnot running in your cluster. But let's say I wanna hit the API of Talos itself, the operating system API, and I want it available in my tailnets. And if you're not aware, tailnet is just a, like a VPN that you have uh, for your machines that are connected. So let's walk through that. Let's show you how to get it installed and how to configure it all the way up to we have a machine that we can talk to inside of our tailnets. Now we can do this two different ways. And the first way is we can actually just download a installer with the correct extensions installed. And system extensions are ways to add more files or more services or more things to your base Talos installation. And remember it's an immutable file system. So you can't do that like after it's installed. You have to figure out how to get files onto the disk. And in this case we have image factory, which is going to do some of that for us. So I could select what version of Talos I want. And then here are all the official extensions that we support. And these are ones that are built by Sidero, but there's also plenty of docs. If you wanna build something custom, if you need something for your environment or your systems, you can build your own extensions. And, and that is absolutely possible. And everything works the same way as it does with our uh, factory builds. You can run factory internally in your, in your environments, build your own extensions and mix these into your builds however you want. But in this case, we already have a tail scale extension available. It's available publicly. And let me just find it on the list. So I can select tail scale here and that's going to layer in that extension, which has the tail scale service and whatever files it needs into our base operating system. So again, I can hit that API. In this case, um, I'm just gonna select that one extension, hit submit, and it gives me all different things that I want. So I could have my customization. This is my schematic ID. I have downloads for a metal ISO, uh, Pixie boot endpoints, all of the other builds and providers. You, if you want to build anywhere with a tail scale node with this extension built in. Uh, but I actually want to do it from a node that already, I already have a, a standard uh, Talos installation ISO. So I booted a machine. Let me pull that in here. I booted this machine here, um, which is sitting back on my bench here. I haven't done an install yet. It's just booted from a generic ISO. I didn't download one with an extension and this is just we're booting it, we need to install it and run it. So I'm gonna walk you through just the install steps real fast and how to convert it to have that extension that we wanted. So the first step I need to do is I need to generate my uh, spec and my keys uh, for the Talos node. Because right now in maintenance mode, it's insecure and so I can need to apply the configuration to it. So I'm going to... And so what I want is I want to gen generate the config. My cluster name is Z because it's a single node machine. I named that machine Z. And this is the endpoint. This is the IP address that I'm using to connect to it. And that's how it's going to validate and install my certs. I'm going to also change my install disk because I know I have an NVMe drive on there and I'm going to force the install because uh, I have uh, files already in this folder. So we're going to go ahead and generate that. Generates our tokens, generates our certs and gives me that now I'm going to apply that config that we just generated over to that node. And we're using the default control plane YAML. Again, I already set what uh, install disk I have. We're using insecure because it's in maintenance mode, which is the only time you can call the API without having any authentication. And the node IP of that node, because it's again, a single node instance, I just need to apply it to the box. And it automatically is going through installing. It's doing a booting phase. So let's wait for it to come up into a state that's not necessarily ready, but available for us uh, to make more changes. So again, you didn't have to go through that step. That was just the quick install. We installed the operating system from having nothing on the disk. So let's go ahead and take that schematic that we had from the factory and apply it to the machine. And to do that, we're gonna just take this schematic here and we're gonna put it in a local file and call out with curl to get basically the same endpoint, but we're gonna show you how it works. So I stuck that into this tail scale extension YAML file, and it's just the thing that we got from factory. Um, you could add more things here, more extensions, official extensions, and say I want to layer on Gvisor or something else. We can just layer that in um, as, as needed as extensions. Now we need to actually get that schematic ID. Again, I already know it because we looked at the factory, but let's do it with curl. 
Here we're going to do a post request with this file. That's we have the, the schematic in and we're going to send it to factory Talos Dev Schematics. And that's going to return this ID that we're going to use. And again, this ID I can already see here right here. This is the schematic ID. I didn't have to go through this process, but that's how you can get this without going to the factory website. You can make a request and get a schematic ID. All these configurations will have a unique one available. So I know where my image is going to be based on this ID. So now what we need to do is we actually need to upgrade the installation. And this is going to be a Talos Control upgrade. We're going to use our image, which is coming from the factory. So we have factory slash installer our schematic ID and then the version we're going to want to use and we're on 170. I'm also going to do a full power cycle of the machine to say, Hey, when you're done, don't do a K exit. I want you to shut down and reboot all the way. And we're going to do a F for a force because I haven't done an Etsy bootstrap. So typically in this mode, we would usually like look, wait for health checks to do an install. We're not going to just reboot your machine if Etsy is unhealthy. And so in this case, Etsy is unhealthy because I haven't bootstrapped it yet. I want this to show up in my tail nets to do the rest of these commands. So I'm going to run that install. I'm going to run this command and we're going to wait for it. Uh, while it's running, I'm going to go ahead and before I actually hit enter there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this up down below. This is the logs from the box itself. I just did. Oh, let's let's show you what I did. Uh, I did Talos control D message. That's going to get all my kernel logs. F for follow and then my endpoint end node, which again are the same thing. And I also exported my Talos config that we just generated because I need certs now to call that API because we're not in maintenance mode anymore. We need to authenticate to that API. So that's going to stream these logs as we go through them. And I'm going to perform this upgrade. I'm going to perform the upgrade, but I also need to add the IP address. There we go. So now we know the endpoint and the node that we're going to apply this configuration to. And we'll see here we have an upgrade request already coming. It's validating that image. And up here, we're actually blocking. We're waiting for the actor ID. So it's going to go through and do that install. It's going to fetch the new image from the factory with that layer already as part of it. And we're going to reboot into the other mode or the other uh, init RAM that we're getting. So we're upgrading it's in start. We stopped all services. If I look back over here, I have a rebooting on my local console, which is plugged into HDMI. And we can see it booted up here. It's watching these nodes and it's running these services with health checks. And if I go back to the console again, we're not ready because I haven't bootstrapped etcd or anything. I just installed that extension. We're going to just add the conf the endpoint and the node that we want to use for this. So I don't have to keep setting that as a flag. So I can say endpoint is 192.168.4.26, which is that IP address. And I'm going to do config node as the same IP address. So now I have a config node and an endpoints uh, in my in my Talos config. So if I cat, you'll see I get that endpoint and node automatically. I don't need to worry about uh, setting that every time in my command. So let's look at the extensions. If I say get extensions, it's going to look at that node and I can see I have tail scale right here and it has the version of tail scale and the schematic that we got that from. So I have this extension available. Let's get the services. I can see all of my services running, but I have this external or this uh, extension tail scale is waiting and it's waiting for a service config. So now we actually need to configure that service. We have the binary there. We have the executable available. We haven't configured it all. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and patch the system with a config. And to do that, we get a patch file and this has an extension service config and an environment variable that is used to authenticate to this machine to my tail nets. And of course, I'm going to delete this before I post this video uh, because that's how you would join a machine to my tail nets uh, without needing a login. So I don't need to like actually go type something in. This is a service key that says, hey, I'm a machine. I get to join this, join this VPN uh, with just this auth key and that's going to allow the machine to get into my network. So we apply this patch to the node and then it'll get that configuration to run tail scale. 
All right, so here we're going to apply that patch to the system and we're gonna use the apply config like we did for the install. Uh, we could have done this during the installation, but we're doing it the manual way so you can see how it works. And we're going to apply that main machine config that we sent the first time for a control plane. And then we're having this patch file here, this uh, tail scale patch with the at symbol, which is indicating that it's a, a file that we're going to suck in and merge with the control plane instead of like an inline patch that we wanna do. So we can apply this and down here we're just watching for that service to run. We're waiting for it still. As soon as it gets the config, hopefully it goes into a running state. We apply the configuration without reboots and we can see down here, it already is running that service. So let's get the logs from it. And we can do tele control logs, the service name and F for follow. And through this, we'll see that it's actually gonna run a uh, running tail scale up, it's going to start generating new machine config. And here we will see that we have a new node in my system. This t uh, Talos um, is the machine name. So 5FV58Q. But more importantly, I have a, a new IP address that I can now access that machine. So the last thing we want to do is we want to actually make the API available on our tailnet. And with that, we're going to get the, the tailnet IP address of that node, and we're going to update our control plane config. We're gonna look for the cert san, cert sans. I need to take that out too. There we go. So now we have cert san and the IP address of the tailnet node. Um, we also want the Kubernetes API to be available over this. So we're gonna look for one more here. I am gonna leave the LAN address for the API too because uh, sometimes, you know, if something's not running, we wanna be able to troubleshoot it and we'd not, we would have no way to add this configuration to that machine uh, without this. So we're gonna add this to the certificates of the um, cluster and this is under cluster here, uh, the cluster configuration with the cert sans as well as the machine cert sans. We're gonna save that out and apply the config one more time. And now it's reconfigured without a reboot. And so we're gonna update the Talos control config with the node IP address just to make sure that we're getting everything like we would expect to. So we're going to Going to erase the old one and add our new one. And now let's try it again. And in this case, I did my dashboard command and I can see my IP address here, which is from the tailnet. I still have the standard LAN IP address, uh, but my connection to this node is going over my tailnet. So now it is available on my tailnet wherever I have Tailscale installed. So if I'm on a VPN somewhere, um, not even at home, I can access this over my tailnet. That's a basic setup showing how to get an extension installed and running on a Talos node. Uh, this works for all different types of extensions. We have NVIDIA drivers, AMD, Intel drivers, all sorts of different things that you might need to run at a lower level than Kubernetes. And so something you need installed on the OS itself. And that's how you would go about that. All of the configuration is gonna be roughly the same where you go ahead and get your schema, apply it to the node with an install, which is going to uh, change your or your boot and then configure the extensions with a patch. So hopefully that helps and let us know if you have any questions.